सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक ऑफ साइंस फॉर क्लास सेवन एन टाइटल्ड साइंस दिस इज द लेसन सेवन वेदर क्लाइमेट एंड एडेप्टेशन ऑफ एनिमल्स टू क्लाइमेट फ्रॉम पेज सिक्सटी एट टू पेज सेवेंटी नाइन Let's listen to the lesson 7 weather climate and adaptations of animals to climate page 68 Do you remember the things that you were asked to pack when you were heading for a hill station when the sky is cloudy your parents insist that you carry an umbrella Have you heard elders in your family discuss the weather before planning a family function? You must have also heard the experts discussing the weather before the start of a game. Have you ever wondered why the weather may have a profound effect on the game? It has a profound effect on our lives. Many of our daily activities are planned based on the weather predicted for that day there are daily reports of the weather on the television and radio and in the newspapers but do you know what this weather really is in this chapter we will study about the weather and climate we will also see how different forms of life are adapted to the climate of their habitat 7.1 weather in figure 7.1 a sample of weather report from a newspaper is given figure 7.1 a sample of a weather report from a newspaper in this weather report we have the maximum temperature minimum temperature the time of sunrise the time of sunset the time of moonset and the time of moonrise we also have more detailed information like whether there will be fog in the morning whether the sky will be cloudy or clear and what kind of humidity will be there on the day we find that the daily weather report carries information about the temperature humidity and rainfall during the past 24 hours it also predicts the weather for the day humidity as you might know is a measure of the moisture in air there's a thought bubble given here a picture of bojho is next to it i wonder who prepares these reports the weather reports are prepared by the meteorological department of the government this department collects data on temperature wind etc and makes the weather prediction activity 7.1 cut out the weather reports of the last week from any newspaper if you do not get a newspaper at home borrow from your neighbors of friends and copy these reports in your notebook you can also collect weather reports from a library paste all the cutouts on a white sheet or on a chart paper now record the information from the weather reports collected by you in table 7.1 the first row is just a sample fill all the columns according to the data in the chart that you have prepared page 69 table 7.1 weather data of a week in this table we have six columns and eight rows in the first column we have the date the second column has the maximum temperature in degree celsius the third column 
has minimum temperature in degree Celsius. The fourth column has minimum humidity in percentage. The fifth column has maximum humidity in percentage. And the sixth column has rainfall in millimeters. A sample has been given for you in row 1. The date is 23rd August 2006. The maximum temperature is 36.2 degrees Celsius. The minimum temperature is 27.8 degrees Celsius. The minimum humidity is 54%. The maximum humidity is 82%. And rainfall is blank. Note, rainfall may not be recorded for all the days since it may not rain every day. Leave the space for rainfall blank if the data is not available. Rainfall is measured by an instrument called the rain gauge. It is basically a measuring cylinder with a funnel on top to collect rainwater. Do all the seven days have the same maximum and minimum temperatures, humidity and rainfall? The maximum and minimum temperatures recorded may be the same for some of the days. However, all the parameters are not the same on any two days. Over a week, there may be considerable variation. The day-to-day -day condition of the atmosphere at a place with respect to the temperature, humidity, rainfall, wind speed, etc. is called the weather at that place. The temperature, humidity and other factors are called the elements of the weather. The weather of a place changes day after day and week after week. That is why we often say Today's weather is too humid or the weather was warm last week. The weather is such a complex phenomenon that it can vary over very short periods of time. It can happen sometimes that it is sunny in the morning but suddenly clouds appear from nowhere and it starts raining heavily. Or a heavy rain may vanish in a matter of minutes and give way to bright sunshine. You may have had several such experiences. Try to recall any such experience and share it with your friends. Since weather is such a complex phenomenon, it is not easy to predict. Observe the graph given here, which shows the maximum temperature recorded during 3rd August 2006 to 9th August 2006 at Shillong, Meghalaya. You can observe this closely in figure 7.2. Page 70 Figure 7.2 Graph showing the variation of maximum temperature during 3rd to 9th August 2006. There is a table given here. In this table, we have two columns and seven rows. In the first column, we have the date. In the second column, we have the maximum temperature. On 3rd August 2006, the maximum temperature was 27 degrees Celsius. On 4th August, it was 23.5 degrees Celsius. On 5th August, it was 25 degrees Celsius. On 6th August, it was 22 degrees Celsius. On 7th August, it was 25.5 degrees Celsius. On 8th August, it was 23.3 degrees Celsius. On 9th August, it was 24.4 degrees Celsius. These values have also been plotted on a graph. On the y-axis, we have the temperature. On the x-axis, we have the dates. 
after marking the values we have got a zigzag kind of graph as it is clear from any weather report the maximum and minimum temperatures are recorded every day do you know how these temperatures are recorded in chapter 4 you have learned that there are special thermometers for this purpose called maximum and minimum thermometers can you guess when during the day we have the maximum temperature and when the minimum the maximum temperature of the day occurs generally in the afternoon while the minimum temperature occurs generally in the early morning can you now understand why in summers we feel so miserable in the afternoon and comparatively comfortable early in the morning there's a thought bubble given here pictures of paheli and bojo are next to it bojo is thinking i wonder why weather changes so frequently paheli replies what is the source of weather in the first place all changes in weather are caused by the sun the sun is a huge sphere of hot gases at a very high temperature the distance of the sun from us is very large even then the energy sent out by the sun is so huge that it is the source of all heat and light on the earth so the sun is the primary source of energy that causes changes in the weather energy absorbed and reflected by the earth's surface ocean and the atmosphere play important roles in determining the weather at any place if you live near the sea you would have realized that the weather at your place is different from that of a place in a desert or near a mountain page 71 what about the times of sunrise and sunset you know that in winters it becomes dark early and you do not get much time to play are the days shorter in winter than in summer try to find it out yourself by completing the project given at the end of the chapter 7.2 climate meteorologists record the weather every day the records of the weather have been preserved for the past several decades these help us to determine the weather pattern at a place the average weather pattern taken over a long time say 25 years is called the climate of the place if we find that the temperature at a place is high most of the time then we say that the climate of that place is hot if there is also heavy rainfall on most of the days in the same place then we can say that the climate of that place is hot and wet in table 7.2 and 7.3 we have given the climate condition at two places in india the mean temperature for a given month is found in two steps first we find the average of the temperatures recorded during the month second we calculate the average of such average temperatures over many years that gives the mean temperature the two places are srinagar in jammu and kashmir and tiruvanthapuram in kerala table 7.2 srinagar jammu and kashmir information about climate in this table we have three columns and 12 rows in the first column we have the month the second column has been divided into two parts it tells us the mean temperature in degree celsius the data is daily minimum and daily maximum 
the third column tells us mean total rainfall in millimeters the values in row 1 are january minus 2.3 degree celsius 4.7 degree celsius 57 mm the values in row 2 are february minus 0.6 degree celsius 7.8 degree celsius 65 mm the values in row 3 are march 3.8 degree celsius 13.6 degree celsius 99 mm the values in row 4 are 7.7 degree celsius 19.4 degree celsius 88 mm the values in row 5 are may 10.7 degree celsius 23.8 degree celsius 72 mm the values in row 6 are june 14.7 degree celsius 29.2 degree celsius and 37 mm the values in row 7 are 8.2 degree celsius 30 degree celsius and 49 mm the values in row 8 are august 17.5 degree celsius 29.7 degree celsius 70 mm the values in row 9 are 12.9 degree celsius 27.8 degree celsius 33 mm the values in row 10 are october 6.1 degree celsius 21.9 degree celsius 36 mm the values in row 11 are 0.9 degree celsius 14.7 degree celsius 27 mm the values in the 12th row are december minus 1.6 degree celsius 8.2 degree celsius 43 mm table 7.3 trivandrum kerala information about climate this table is exactly like the table we described earlier the values in row 1 are january 22.2 degree celsius 31.5 degree celsius 23 mm the values in row 2 are 22.8 degree celsius 31.9 degree celsius 24 mm the values in row 3 are march 24.1 degree celsius 32.6 degree celsius 40 mm the values in row 4 are april 24.9 degree celsius 32.6 degree celsius 117 mm the values in row 5 are 24.7 degree celsius 31.6 degree celsius 230 mm the values in row 6 are 23.5 degree celsius 29.7 degree celsius 321 mm the values in row 7 are 23.1 degree celsius 29.2 degree celsius 227 mm the values in row 8 are 23.2 degree celsius 29.4 degree celsius 138 mm the values in row 9 are september 23.3 degree celsius 30 degree celsius 175 mm the values in row 10 are october 23.3 degree celsius 29.9 degree celsius 282 mm the values in row 11 are november 23.1 degree celsius 
30.3 degrees Celsius, 185 millimeter. The values in 12th row are December, 22.6 degrees Celsius, 31 degrees Celsius, 66 millimeter. Note, the numbers for the mean total rainfall have been rounded off. Page 72. By looking at table 7.2 and 7.3, we can easily see the difference in the climate of Jammu and Kashmir and Kerala. We can see that Kerala is very hot and wet in comparison to Jammu and Kashmir, which has a moderately hot and wet climate for a part of the year. Similar data for the western region of India, for example, Rajasthan, will show that the temperature is high during most part of the year. But during winter, which lasts only for a few months, the temperature is quite low. This region receives very little rainfall. This is the typical desert climate. It is hot and dry. The northeastern India receives rain for a major part of the year. Therefore, we can say that the climate of the northeast is wet. 7.3 Climate and Adaptation Climate has a profound effect on all living organisms. Animals are adapted to survive in the conditions in which they live. Animals living in very cold and hot climate must possess special features to protect themselves against the extreme cold or hot. Recall from Chapter 9 of your Class 6 Science book the definition of adaptation. Features and habits that help animals to adapt to their surroundings are a result of the process of evolution. In Chapter 9, you will learn about the effect of weather and climate on soil. Here, we will study the effect of climate on animals only. In Class 6, you have read about adaptations of animals to certain habitats. As example of adaptations of animals to climatic conditions, we discuss only animals living in polar regions and tropical rainforests. As the name suggests, the polar regions are situated near the poles, that is, North Pole and South Pole. Some well-known countries that belong to the polar regions are Canada, Greenland, Iceland, Norway, Sweden, Finland, Alaska in USA and Siberian region of Russia. Examples of some countries where tropical rainforests are found are India, Malaysia, Indonesia, Brazil, Republic of Congo, Kenya, Uganda and Nigeria. Activity 7.2 Take an outline map of the world. Mark the polar regions in blue. Similarly, mark the tropical regions in red. 1. The polar regions The polar regions present an extreme climate. These regions are covered with snow and it is very cold for most part of the year. For six months, the sun does not set at the poles, while for the other six months, the sun does not rise. In winters, the temperature can be as low as minus 37 degrees Celsius. Animals living there have adapted to these severe conditions. Let us see how they are adapted by considering the examples of polar bears and penguins. Polar bears have white fur so that they are not easily visible in the snowy white background. 
it protects them from their predators page 73 it also helps them in catching their prey to protect them from extreme cold they have two thick layers of fur they also have a layer of fat under their skin in fact they are so well insulated that they have to move slowly and rest often to avoid getting overheated physical activities on warm days necessitate cooling so the polar bear goes for swimming it is a good swimmer its paws are wide and large which helps it not only to swim well but also walk with ease in the snow while swimming under water it can close its nostrils and can remain under water for long durations it has a strong sense of smell so that it can catch its prey for food we can understand the adaptations of polar bears with the help of the flow chart given in figure 7.3 figure 7.3 adaptations of polar bear in this chart there's a polar bear at the center then with the help of arrows various features of a polar bear have been described the white fur is not easily visible in the snowy white background its predator and prey are unable to see it it has a very strong sense of smell it helps the bear to locate and catch its prey it has long curved and sharp claws these help it to walk on ice it has a layer of fat under its skin the fat insulates its body from cold and keeps it warm it has two thick layers of fur these keep it warm in cold weather figure 7.4 penguins huddle together another well known animal living in the polar regions is the penguin it can be observed in figure 7.4 it is also white and merges well with the white background it also has a thick skin and a lot of fat to protect it from cold you may have seen pictures of penguins huddled together this they do to keep warm recall how warm you feel when you are in a hall full of people page 74 figure 7.5 feet of penguin like polar bears penguins are also good swimmers their bodies are streamlined and their feet have webs making them good swimmers you can observe this in figure 7.5 other animals living in the polar regions are many types of fishes musk oxen reindeers foxes seals whales and birds It is to be noted that while fish can remain under cold water for long birds must remain warm to survive they migrate to warmer regions when winter sets in they come back after winter is over you know probably that india is one of the destinations of many of these birds you must have seen or heard about the siberian crane that comes from siberia to places like bharatpur in rajasthan and sultanpur in haryana and some wetlands of north east and some other parts of india you can observe them in figure 7.6 figure 7.6 migratory birds in their habitat and migratory birds in flight In the first picture we can observe a couple of birds drinking water 
In the second picture, we can observe some birds flying over a pond. There's a thought bubble given here. A picture of Paheli is next to it. Do fishes and butterflies also migrate like birds? Did you know? Some migratory birds travel as much as 15,000 kilometers to escape the extreme climatic conditions at home. Generally, they fly high, where the wind flow is helpful and the cold conditions allow them to disperse the heat generated by their flight muscles. But how these birds travel to the same place year after year is still a mystery. It seems that these birds have a built-in sense of direction and know in which direction to travel. Some birds probably use landmarks to guide them. Many birds may be guided by the sun during the day and stars at night. There is some evidence that birds may use the magnetic field of the earth to find direction. And it is not only birds that migrate. Mammals, many types of fish and insects are also known to migrate seasonally in search of more hospitable climates. Page 75 2. The Tropical Rainforests The tropical region has generally a hot climate because of its location around the equator. Even in the coldest month, the temperature is generally higher than about 15 degrees Celsius. During hot summers, the temperature may cross 40 degrees Celsius. Days and nights are almost equal in length throughout the year. These regions get plenty of rainfall. An important feature of this region is the tropical rainforests. Tropical rainforests are found in Western Ghats and Assam in India, Southeast Asia, Central America and Central Africa. Because of continuous warmth and rain, this region supports wide variety of plants and animals. The major types of animals living in the rainforests are monkeys, apes, gorillas, tigers, elephants, leopards, lizards, snakes, birds and insects. Let us read about the adaptations of these animals to a hot, humid climate. The climatic condition in rainforests are highly suitable for supporting an enormous number and a variety of animals. Since the numbers are large, there is intense competition for food and shelter. Many animals are adapted to living on the trees. Red-eyed frog, which can be observed in figure 7.7, .7, has developed sticky pads on its feet to help it climb trees on which it lives. To help them live on trees, monkeys, which can be observed in figure 7.8, have long tails for grasping branches. Their hands and feet are such that they can easily hold on to the branches. As there is competition for food, some animals are adapted to get food not easily reachable. A striking example is that of the bird toucan, which possesses a long large beak. This bird can be observed in figure 7.9. The beak of toucan helps it to reach the fruits on branches which are otherwise too weak to support its weight. Many tropical animals have sensitive hearing, sharp eyesight, thick skin and a skin colour which helps them to camouflage by blending with the surroundings. This is to protect them from predators. For example, big cats like lions and tigers have thick skins and sensitive hearing. Figure 7.7 – Red-Eyed Frog Figure 7.8 – A New World Monkey 
page 76. The lion-tailed macaque, also called beard ape, lives in the rainforests of Western Ghats. It can be observed in figure 7.10. Its most outstanding feature is the silver-white mane, which surrounds the head from the cheeks down to its chin. It is a good climber and spends a major part of its life on the tree. It feeds mainly on fruits. It also eats seeds, young leaves, stems, flowers and buds. This beard ape also searches for insects under the bark of the trees. Since it is able to get sufficient food on the trees, it rarely comes down on the ground. Another well-known animal of Indian tropical rainforest is the elephant. The elephant can be observed in figure 7.11. It has adapted to the conditions of rainforests in many remarkable ways. You can observe its trunk. It uses it as a nose because of which it has a strong sense of smell. The trunk is also used by it for picking up food. Moreover, its tusks are modified teeth. These can tear the bark of trees that elephant loves to eat. So, the elephant is able to handle the competition for food rather well. Large ears of the elephant help it to hear even very soft sounds. They also help the elephant to keep cool in the hot and humid climate of the rainforest. Figure 7.9 Toucan Figure 7.10 The lion-tailed macaque Figure 7.11 An Indian elephant Keywords Adaptation Climate Elements of weather Humidity Maximum temperature Migration Minimum temperature Polar region, tropical rainforest, tropical region, weather. Page 77 1. The day-to-day -day condition of the atmosphere at a place with respect to the temperature, humidity, rainfall, wind speed, etc. is called the weather at that place. 2. The weather is generally not the same on any two days and week after week. 3. The maximum temperature of the day occurs generally in the afternoon, while the minimum temperature occurs in the early morning. 4. The times of sunrise and sunset also change during the year. 5. All the changes in the weather are driven by the sun. 6. The average weather pattern taken over a long time, say 25 years, is called the climate of the place. 7. The tropical and the polar regions are the two regions of the earth which have severe climatic conditions. 8. Animals are adapted to the conditions in which they live. 9. The polar regions are very cold throughout the year. The sun does not set for 6 months in a year and in the other 6 months it does not rise. 10. Animals in the polar region are adapted to the extremely cold climate by having some special characteristics such as white fur, strong sense of smell, a layer of fat under the skin, wide and large paws for swimming and walking etc. 11. Migration is another means to escape the harsh cold conditions. 12. Because of 
the hospitable climatic conditions, huge populations of plants and animals are found in the tropical rainforests. 13. Animals in the tropical rainforests are adapted such that they eat different kinds of food to overcome the competition for food and shelter. 14. Some adaptations of animals living in the tropical rainforests include living on the trees, development of strong tails, long and large beaks, bright colors, sharp patterns, loud voice, diet of fruits, sensitive hearing, sharp eyesight, thick skin, ability to camouflage in order to protect themselves from predators, etc. Exercises 1. Name the elements that determine the weather of a place. 2. When are the maximum and minimum temperatures likely to occur during the day? 3. Fill in the blanks. 1. The average weather taken over a long time is called blank. Page 78 2. A place receives very little rainfall and the temperature is high throughout the year. The climate of that place will be blank and blank. 3. The two regions of the earth with extreme climatic conditions are blank and blank. 4. Indicate the type of climate of the following areas. A. Jammu and Kashmir B. Kerala C. Rajasthan D. Northeast India 5. Which of the two changes frequently, weather or climate? 6. Following are some of the characteristics of animals. 1. Diets heavy on fruits. 2. White fur. 3. Need to migrate. 4. Loud voice. 5. Sticky pads on feet. 6. Layers of fat under skin. 7. Wide and large paws. 8. Bright colors. 9. Strong tails. 10. Long and large beak. For each characteristic, indicate whether it is adaptation for tropical rainforests or polar regions. Do you think that some of these characteristics can be adapted for both regions? 7. The tropical rainforest has a large population of animals. Explain why it is so. 8. Explain with examples why we find animals of certain kind living in particular climatic conditions. 9. How do elephant living in the tropical rainforest adapt itself? Choose the correct option which answers the question here. 10. A carnivore with stripes on its body moves very fast while catching its prey. It is likely to be found in 1. Polar regions 2. Deserts 3. Oceans 4. Tropical rainforests 11. Which features adapt polar bears to live in extremely cold climate? 1. A white fur, fat below skin, keen sense of smell 2. Thin skin Large eyes, a white fur. 3. A long tail, strong claws, white large paws. 4. White body, paws for swimming, gills 
for respiration. Page 79. Which option best describes a tropical region? 1. Hot and humid. 2. Moderate temperature, heavy rainfall. 3. Cold and humid. 4. Hot and dry. Extended learning, projects and activities. 1. Collect weather reports of 7 successive days in the winter months, preferably December. Collect similar reports for the summer months, preferably June. Now, prepare a table for sunrise and sunset times as given here. Table In this table, we have two columns and two rows. The columns have been divided into three parts. The first column has the value June. The second column has the value December. They have been further divided into date, sunrise and sunset. Try to answer the following questions. 1. Is there any difference in the time of sunrise during summer and winter? 2. When do you find that the sun rises earlier? 3. Do you also find any difference in the time of sunset during the month of June and December? 4. When are the days longer? 5. When are the nights longer? 6. Why are the days sometimes longer and sometimes shorter? 7. Plot the length of the day against the days chosen in June and December. Instructions for plotting graphs are given in Chapter 13. 2. Collect information about the Indian Meteorological Department. If possible, visit its website http slash slash www dot imd dot gov dot in write a brief report about the things this department does did you know rainforests cover about six percent of the earth's surface but they have more than half of the animal life and about two-thirds of the flowering plants of the planet. However, much of this life is still unknown to us. The chapter 7 of total 18 chapters of the book ends here. Narrator Akash Ahuja Producer Vandana Arimardan Presented by C-I-E-T-N-C-E-R-T, New Delhi, India.